Nasdaq crashes. Is it your time to buy into these big four stocks? And with that, welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investors. The stock market is crashing for a second day as tech bubble bursts. Stock market crash, warning signs are flashing. Market crash 2.0. The terrible market sell-off I've been warning you about is here. So I want you to panic, or at least the media want you to panic. Let's see what really happened in the last couple of days. First of all, when you take a look at the S&P 500, you just see that we have, of course, an amazing bull run since March from the depth of the pandemic crash. Now. We have two days of correction from 3580 points to 3426 points yesterday at the close. So yeah, that's a correction, but this is a just normal correction. There is no crash here, at least not yet. It's a little bit early to panic. But of course, when you look at the Nasdaq, it looks a little bit different. The Nasdaq also had an incredible run. I, in my 20 years uh, on the market, I never saw a run like that. And Nasdaq then just dropped in the last two days uh, in the peak over 1000 points. It's also no time to panic in my view, but at least it's time to look at the giants of Nasdaq. If it's maybe time to buy into this correction and get them for a fair price. Or is it just that? Is it just a correction and they are still overvalued? And this is what I want to answer in this video. And so I will look at the four of the five um, big tech stocks. I will watch into Google, Apple, Facebook and Microsoft. And tomorrow I will make a deeper analysis also of Amazon. So let's start with Google or Alphabet. Alphabet right now have a market capitalization of over $1 trillion with a PE ratio of almost 35 and an earnings per share of the trading 12 month of 45. And as you can see, um, also Google dropped from 1,728 to 1,590. So this is quite a drop in two days. But if you look at the long long term chart, this is for one year here, um, you also see that it rises immensely after the pandemic crash and now just dropped two days in a row. And the question becomes when it's time to buy into Alphabet. As my subscribers or people stick with me for a while know, I try to calculate an intrinsic value and then um, try to buy under the intrinsic value of course but with these very great companies here and maybe the best companies around right now I would be very happy to have skin in the game uh, and can buy into them at the fair value and so the the fair value or intrinsic value for Alphabet um, for me is around $1,200 and so I set my bar there and if it ever come back to this point I will buy into it and of course if it falls more and under the intrinsic value I would add even more shares but at $1,200 I would take a first position. But this is quite a while and we will see um, if it ever hits this mark again um, but for me it just makes no sense to buy earlier. You can find the, the explanation why I'm so concentrated on this intrinsic value in my other deeper analyzes, uh, for example, of Microsoft or also uh, on my video to calculate the intrinsic value. Um, and of course, also for Alphabet, I made a deeper analysis and you can find this here up on the screen or just on my channel in the playlist. The second stock I want to watch into is Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft have a market capitalization of $1.6 trillion with a price earnings ratio of 37 and an earnings per share of $5.76. And it pays a small dividend of 0.88% right now. 
and also Microsoft dipped the last two days um, quite a bit. But also here, if you look on the long-term chart or on the one-year chart, you also see how much it raised after the pandemic crash and now just come back a little bit after the two days of correction. With Microsoft, my intrinsic value is a little bit over $160. If Microsoft will ever hit this mark again, um, I will buy into it at least a first position but also here we have a lot of space until we would hit this mark and so we have to be patient but Microsoft is also the perfect example why you have to wait un until a company even a great company come back to a fair price and you can find the answer to this just uh, on my deeper analysis of Microsoft check it out here is a link up on the screen and next one is Apple. Apple, I would say, maybe the best business around right now. Um, also with Apple, I made a deeper analysis and you can find it in my channel uh, on my playlist. Apple right now have a market capitalization of $2 trillion with a price earnings ratio of 36 and an earnings per shares over the last 12 months of $3.30. And also Apple pay a small dividend of 0.2%. 62% which is not much but at least a little bit and it's really rising so Apple maybe at one point also can become a real good dividend payer and also Apple um, rises so much and after the pandemic crash and so now there is just a correction and don't forget that Apple also had the split of the stocks uh, just lately um, and so now they are trading a little bit over $120 and as I said Apple maybe is the best business around right now and of course I wanted to have my shares into it but just to a fair price and even with this dip in the last two days it seems like Apple still is way overvalued um, I calculated my intrinsic value around $70 and so there is really really a lot of space and honestly I'm not so sure if Apple will ever hit this mark again but who knows and uh, we just have to wait patiently for a good chance. And last but not least, uh, just last because I talked a little bit more about Facebook lately because um, I have my shares in Facebook. Um, I just cut it them this week and you find also um, a video with a deeper analysis of Facebook and also why I cut it my shares almost in half. But of course Facebook still is a great business and also dropped um, over the last two days. But before it also make an incredible run and so I decided to sell uh, six of my originally 14 shares at $296, so almost at the peak, and just stay now with another eight shares in my portfolio. And by the way, on my playlist, you also find an insight of my whole portfolio and an analysis of all my stocks in my portfolio. And with Facebook, I would be very happy to add again, but also here I would add just for a fair price and my calculated intrinsic value for Facebook is around $200 and so also here we have a lot of space to this mark and we will see if it ever happened to see this mark again. So with this all said, what's the conclusion then? The conclusion is we just have to be patient um, with these great companies. Don't forget what bull run we had before the pandemic and then just after the pandemic even more with this big tech stocks it's not like we have a big crash it's just a correction of already high overvalued stocks and so we have to be patient and hopefully we are lucky enough that we get the chance to buy into these great companies for a fair price but who knows but on the other hand it just makes zero sense sense to buy into even the greatest company for overvalued
price. We just have to wait and we just have to wait until prices come back at least to the intrinsic value uh, and with these great companies I would make an ex exception and would buy them at the intrinsic value at least first position. Uh, normally I like to buy my shares of a company way under the intrinsic value at least 20% by the 30, 40 or even 50% under the intrinsic value. But I'm not even sure if we will ever see these big tech stocks come back to the intrinsic value. Um, so I think we are not lucky enough to buy them on a big margin of safety. But at least I would like to have skin in the game with these great, great companies. So until this happen or maybe not happen, what can we do? I think we just could make another cup of coffee, relax and enjoy life. As always, you can't predict the stock market. Maybe we get a crash, maybe we get the chance to buy into these great companies to a fair price. Maybe it's just a correction and the bull run just continue. Who knows? Nobody knows. Um, and I will not even try to predict the stock market. It's just like you have to prepare for every situation. And this is my point. So, and this is the reason also for this video. I just want to share my thoughts when it's time or when it would be time to buy into these great stocks. And with this said, that's it for today. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to never miss another video. And then we will see tomorrow with a deeper analysis of Amazon. I'm very excited because I didn't look into Amazon for a while, so I'm not really know what to expect. And then we will see if maybe Amazon is a good buy right now. So see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.